everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really fun card that I've come up with and it's using the new Circus Collection by Craft Consortium. So I've got this belly band, so you just slide that off and the idea is, is that this is the curtains to the circus. So you open the curtains and then you enter the circus. And I've made this, it's, it's a display style card that I've done these kind of styles before. This is a different one again. I've done just all the cuts a bit differently and I've added the curtain kind of pieces here at the front, completely optional. But I just love all the decorations. So I've stamped all the images and coloured them using my coloured pencils. I've used the little star embellishments. I've made some rosettes. This is the washi ticket trim, uh, the washi ticket pattern here. I've fussy cut the little tickets there. These here are from the paper pad. I've made some of the bunting and then done all the mats and layers and even that sign there with the show all lit up and I've used some Nuvo drops on the lights and uh, glossy accents and you can see that on the ball and on all the different kind of elements inside there. You can see when they hit the light all the sparkle from the glossy accents. It's really fun, it stands up, it's a showstopper. You know, it's got such a nice profile and these cards are great in, you know, with any theme and you can have it as a wedding anniversary, you know, a big 21st birthday with the big 21 in the center. There's loads of ways to decorate it. And then on the back, I've kept it quite, you know, plain, I guess, but you've got the space there to, to write your message and it's got the greatest showman and it's got the ringmaster there as well on the back. And you could obviously, you know, matte and layer all of those as well if you wanted to but I'm super pleased with this I love the belly band there and obviously that can be displayed with it and it, it just stands up really nicely it's easy to do okay I've done a template so don't be kind of you know worry that you won't be able to achieve this so let me show you how to make this really really fun card like I said I'm very very pleased with how this has come together and I would also suggest that if you wanted to pop it in an envelope you can pop it in the five by seven box envelopes and I'll link that one up here and it will fit perfectly into that. This is the collection here. The only thing I haven't used in today's are the metal embellishments here of the circus tent and the wooden embellishments because they're going on something else that I'll be doing. But that's the washi tape. I was actually, I thought out of all of the things here, the washi tape would be the least thing that I would use. And it's actually, I've really enjoyed using the ticket one there. So I'll definitely use that a lot. They're the little embellishments, the stars, really nice. And then, oh, I haven't used that stamp, stamp set yet either. That's the, that one is called the fortune teller. So I will no doubt use that though, but I've used this one here and this one here. Love the images, they're so cool. And then I've used from the six by six pad, I've actually fussy cut the circus sign that is on the front page. You can fussy cut all of these elements here. So I have done that one there. And then for the stripes and everything, I've used the large 12 by 12 pad beautiful such lovely 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 images so I've gone ahead and done loads of it because it's actually it's just like one card um, just doubled up really which is why I've called it a double you know I call them a double display because you can if you wanted to just have this on its own it's a really nice fun fold just that one half and then it would all fold down and you could extend this bit so it's five inches Okay, but we're going to put another piece on top. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to do two of these and I've already gone and stuck all the mats and layers on this one. And you can see just how fun that trim is. And that's just that tape just stuck onto that piece of cream cardstock. So I've done all my images again. You can see them all here. Again, really nice, easy to colour. I've done all of the glossy accents. Oh no, I haven't on that one actually. I've just done the Nouveau drop, so I'll add the glossy accents later. Um, again, got them there. And those pieces there and then I've got the greatest showman sign I've just done some bunting I just cut these were using a triangle punch so I've just got five of them there just pop them on a little bit of twine that's for the belly band along with that one again it's that ticket it just looks really nice just to cover the belly band with and then I've done my rosettes these rosettes are one inch by 12 scored at every quarter of an inch and I'll link a rosette tutorial there just so you can see if you want to make them and I've just covered the centers with one of the tickets there Okay, so I'll go through all the mats and layers in a moment. And again, everything will be listed on my blog. So I have already gone ahead and scored everything I need to do on here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through my template. And I'm going to draw in black and in red where you score and cut on this piece here. But you're going to need two pieces. Make sure I'm in the frame there, right? Two pieces of 11 by 7. Okay. And what you want to do first of all, it's handy now to have a ruler and I like the T-square ruler because you can line it up along the bottom here and you get your, you know, a dead straight line. So what you want to do first of all is you want to score at one inch 
but only down to two inches. Now I've come down a bit far here, but it's a template, so just ignore. I'm going to say that that's down to two inches. Okay. You then want to miss all of this until you get to five inches and then continue scoring again. And the easiest way to do that is by, you know, getting a ruler like this, something that you can lay down along here, line it up with the one inch here, and then you can just score one all the way down to the two inches because I'm just using the guide here on the side. So you're just scoring down to two, then I'll just take my stylus off and then start scoring again at five down to the bottom. Okay. You then want to do the same at two inches. So again, I'll just lay my ruler down there. At two inches, score down to two inches here. Miss all of the middle and then start scoring again from five inches down. Okay. Then you want to come along and do the same at four and a half inches. So at four and a half down to two, miss the middle and then at five down to the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a black marker line on those ones that I've just done with you. Okay, so right now you should have those score lines at one, two and four and a half, just down to two inches and then continuing down again. So this is all empty. We're going to join this in a minute and we're going to, in fact we'll do that now, it's probably easiest, so then you can just pop it in here and from the, you don't even need to worry about your two inches there, you just want to join from there down. Ignore if you can see a score line there, that was, I was doing my template, it was wrong. You're just scoring to join those lines all up. So again, if I just bring in my black here, you can see what I've done. Um, you're actually going to cut this in a minute, but I'm going to just do it as a score line for the minute, just so that we know where we are. And again, you're going to do that here, so you're scoring just to join up the bottoms of those. Pop it back in again, and then you want to do a score line now just in between these ones at three and a half. So again, if you want to bring your ruler in there at three and a half, miss this bit, you're just scoring within that bit there. That's how you want your score lines to look. Then you want to score at seven all the way down. So again, I'm just going to draw that one in there. So you're scoring at seven all the way down. And you also want to score at six and eight, just down to one inch. So it's one inch down, you're just scoring down one inch. So at six, just down to one inch. You then want to miss all of this and you want to start scoring at six inches, just down to the bottom. But if you want, you could flip the cardstock and just score at six down to one inch. So whatever you find easiest. And you also want to do again that at eight. So at eight inches, just score down to one miss all of the middle and then start scoring again at six inches down to seven, like so. And then you're gonna pop it this way again and you're gonna join those up. So just like you joined these ones up. So again, if you wanna use your ruler, line it up with the six inches here and it should hit the bottoms of these score lines and just join them up with your, again, these are all score lines you'll do, remember. But these are gonna turn into cut lines in a minute, but I'm gonna just do it all in black just so it's easy for you to follow. But hopefully with me doing that template, it's a bit easier than me just doing all those score lines. So I'm gonna cut these in a minute off camera, but for the, the time being, hopefully that you know makes sense for you. Now we can do some cut lines. So I'm gonna cut mine onto that piece, but I'm gonna draw in red. Actually, I'll do it in pink, because it's what's at hand. But you're basically now gonna cut down this one here. I'm just gonna do a pink line just underneath that black but you know where you're cutting. In fact, I'll do it above as well, just so you know. So that's going to become a cut line. That's going to become a cut line. This one and this one. So those, you're going to cut from there to there, there to there, there to there, there to there. And that's what you will have. So I will put this on my blog. I'll take a photo of this and I'll just highlight that the pink are cut lines and so on. Um, but you want to do that twice. We need two of these. Okay. okay, so I've just gone and cut mine. So you'll see I've got two slits there and then I've got two here. So you want to start off. Now ignore that I've got a score line going right through here. And you might see a few places where I've got score lines where you haven't. It's because I've done this one. I wouldn't say wrong. It doesn't matter if you do score all the way through. But I think it just will look better if you don't. So I'm just gonna rub out the backs and once I have my max and layers, you don't notice it anyway. But basically what you wanna do is the first score lines here, you're gonna 
they're going to be mountain folds like this, okay? And let that kind of arch like it is. These ones then are going to become mount, um, valley folds, okay? This then is going to become a mountain fold because it's where it's kind of wanting to go anyway, okay? So you'll see now how that starts to come up. This will then naturally become a valley fold just here. You should now be able to fold all of that flat. And just come in with your bone folder and just burnish those score lines. And I'll just show you again what you've got there. Okay. This then is going to become a mountain. Okay. And then this one is going to become a valley. Like so. These are going to become mountains. And the one inside is going to become a valley. Again, it will all fold flat, like so. Now, don't worry that I've got these score lines here. You won't have that. So you won't have the score lines here and here, and that's what you want. But that's now, when you fold all that flat, it should be four inches by seven which mine is. Once we add the other one on, that will give you the extra inch and that will make it five by seven. But you need to do that with your other piece. What's gonna then happen, so here's my other piece, is this, is you're just gonna flip one round and it's gonna stick on that piece there. Okay. So I'm gonna get that one stuck down. Well, actually, yeah, you might wanna do your mat set. To be honest, you can spread the whole thing out and lie it flat, so it, it won't really matter. Um, you know, that it will make it easy to decorate even, you know, if you don't stick it down now, but I'm going to, just so I can kind of explain everything. So I'm just gonna run my glue all on the back here. You wanna stick that over so it sits right up to the score lines. Fold that over, make sure you get a nice, you want that to go right into these score lines here. So, you know, it just looks like one big piece and that's gonna fold flat like so. You can see there, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, like so. And then the whole thing will open out. So now you want to do your mats and layers. So I've already done this one, but I'll tell you all these, you know, the ones that you're gonna need one and two of. This one you just need one and it's gonna go right in the middle there. And this one is, this measures two and three quarters by six and three quarters. That one is gonna go right in the middle, okay? Then you're going to need eight of these squares here so I've got my four and they're to go on here and here but you want them on here as here as well so you'll want eight and those are three quarters of an inch squared okay you'll then want two pieces like of this size and they're going to go here and here and these ones measure two and a quarter by two and three quarters and I'm going to lay that flat so that one's going to go there okay I've got this one here, which I'm going to have on this end, so you'll want two, and these are three quarters of an inch by six and three quarters. Okay, so that one is going to go right at the end. You'll then want two of these. This one is one and a quarter by six and three quarters, and that one's going to go there. You'll then want four pieces of this size, which is two and a quarter by one and three quarters, and that's going to go there and there. You will then want four pieces, which are gonna go here and here. These are again, are three quarters by four and three quarters. One's gonna go there and there. You'll then want four pieces that are three quarters by one and three quarters. And these are gonna go here, here, there and there. And then you'll want two pieces that are three quarters by two and three quarters, and they're to go here and here. Okay, like I said, all of those will be listed on my blog, but I'm now going to go and get them all stuck down on that second half.
stuck down so it's ready to decorate. So I have got my rosettes and I'm gonna pretty much follow what I've done on this one here. So I'll open it up in a minute and use that as my kind of guide. I've got the bunting there, which is just gonna fit nicely across there. I'll probably just trim off a few bits of uh, the frayed twine there. But I've just got all of these lovely stamped images and um, yeah, I'm just gonna have some fun with them. I could have The Greatest Showman actually on that one instead rather than Circus um, and maybe just cut the smaller one and have that inside. Again, I've got my sign there and I've got all the little extras. Um, I think that's everything. And then I will show you the belly band and the curtains last because it might not be, you know, what everybody wants to do. So I'm gonna pop it on high speed now and get this one all stuck down. So that is the card all decorated. I love it, I think it looks so good. Slightly different colors, so I've gone, I've matched the stripes in the pattern paper with the, the card stock for this one, whereas that one's obviously, I've got the real bright red for the curtains and the red for the matte layers, and then it's, it's on that orange kind of color for the back. So that is the card finish. If you just want to keep it like that, I need to burnish the base score lines a bit better because it's quite bouncy, but that will all fold flat now and fit inside one of my five by seven box envelopes. If you just want to keep it like that, then you know, that's it, you're done. But if you do want to add that kind of curtain effect and the belly band, so what I've got here is two pieces of five by seven. And I'm just gonna score at um, three quarters of an inch on both pieces, like so. And then on one of them, I'm gonna just cut the curtain. Now what I did do on this one is you'll see, I actually added another piece of cardstock. You see there's two and on the back, you can just about probably make out the join there because I didn't like that it could you could still see a lot of this, but obviously with that belly band over, I don't mind that there's a little bit there, but I think with this one, I wanna try and just kind of cover that a little bit more. So I can kind of see there, you know, if I wrap that one around, kind of where I need to come in from. So I'm gonna just come quite far out and kind of up like so, and then, I'm gonna cut. Now, if you wanna draw this with a pencil rather than eyeball like I just did there, then you can do, but something like that. And then what I'm gonna do is with this one here, is just flip them and just draw around it. So I'm just gonna make sure that lines up perfectly. And then just with my pencil, just draw around it. And then I can just cut away that pencil, like so. And now that one faces the other way. So I can just fold and burnish the score lines. And then what I'm gonna do is add glue on the inside. On this one here, I added a score line, but I don't think you need it. So I'm gonna stick this one behind here, fold it over and just push it right into that card. Now when that comes over, it's just gonna cover more. And I might do a little bit of inking, I might put some drape kind of markings or something on there as well. And you know, you can do a lot more with it, but it was just to kind of give a little bit of like a, the tent entrance kind of look to it. So you'll see all that in the pictures close up, but if I just show you how to get that initial kind of shape, you know, lots of you then can add your own little touches to it. So again, you're just clipping that behind those ones there. If you've got anything overhanging, trim it away. You don't want it to, you know, affect it standing up. Like so, but now that covers a lot more because now the belly band will go over that bit there. It just means now you open up the curtains. Oh, <laughs> make sure the glue's dry before you do that. 
but I do think it also adds to the effect when the card's displayed, having this, this here as well. I really, really like it. So now for the belly band, so I'll just let that kind of dry for a second. So the belly band, this was a piece of just uh, scrap, so it's 12 inches, it doesn't have to be that long. And then I've just put that trim of the, well, the washi tape um, along there. And it is one and, I think it was just over one, is it one and a quarter? Yeah, it was just under one and a quarter, like I said, it was a bit of scrap. Um, and when I do the belly bands, I don't score them, I just wrap them. Oh, I've also done the back, I forgot to mention that. Just put a bit of white there, which was about two and a half um, by six and a half. And um, that's just gone on the back there with the Ringmaster. I've got some pencil mark. I must have something pink or something on the, the my mat there because I need to put a little bit of a mark on the back, but I can get rid of that in a minute. But basically, you're just going to wrap the belly band around so you've got equal kind of, you know, amounts on coming around to the front there. And then you want to overlap them, but you don't want it to be so tight that you can't pull it off. So I'm using my hot glue, you don't have to use hot glue at all, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue there. And then just kind of let that kind of loosely just sit over there. Like I said, you don't want it so tight that you can't actually just slide the belly band off. There's nothing worse than the person that has it is really struggling, you know, to, uh, to get into the card. So, you know, that's, you know, that's nice. It's enough to hold it, because it's quite a bouncy, um, card anyway and like I said it will fit perfectly still into my box envelopes and then this one here is just a couple of ovals that I've cut from my nest of oval dies so I've got three and three quarters by it's about three for the cream one and then that's just the next one down which is it's about three and three eighths by two and five eighths and again I'm just going to grab my hot glue because it's still on and just put a bead right through the center and then I know that that's going to stick down like so and then I'll fussy cut probably one of this image again or something similar I might even put happy birthday on there I mean I haven't got happy birthday or anything on there because these are ready really for you know someone might ask for a card for a five-year-old or something and then I can add the number five and put the birthday on later so there's there's plenty of decoration already on them but they're ready now to have other bits added to them you could easily put some bits in here some numbers and so on but that's that's the card done it's you know like I said, it's not too difficult to do there's a lots of lots of mats and layers to cut out and it's the decoration that's the fun part but it's surprisingly easy once you've cut that you know you're just doubling it up really and you know you may just want to keep one half and have a smaller size card like I showed at the beginning um, but I love them I think they're so much fun and I just adore that collection and I've got so many more fun cards to make with that so I also need to add some of the embellishments into that one but you'll see all the close-ups of the pictures in my blog but hopefully you've enjoyed today's video I've thoroughly enjoyed making this card if you have enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you get to see more thanks for watching bye